These are eye designs. We're going to work with this one right here. We do have many, many others to choose from. There's over 1,600 different images that are all licensed for edible use, all different kinds of patterns. Some of these are printed on wafer paper. Some of these are printed on regular icing sheets, but you can see all the different choices. All right. So, I've started with a safari print. It is a very popular print and it's very easy to do. That's all I'm going to do. This one's printed on wafer paper. I'm going to break this up into small pieces, randomly breaking them up. The reason I like this print and I chose this print is that it has several different patterns from the animals to the zebra um, to this nice pattern here. So we can kind of get many, ooh, there goes the egg, many different uh, patterns with one image. You don't need all that much. All right. Now the wonderful thing about working with the uh, the wafer paper is that it's very thin. It takes water very easily and sticks to the eggs very well. So I have a little cup of water and a paintbrush. I'm just going to paint on some water, and you can almost feel it getting thinner. And you just stick it on. There's no rhyme or reason when decorating with decoupage eggs. If you miss a spot, it's great. It's very easy. Just kind of go back over with the water. Usually the water just kind of disperses itself really well. You can see how I'm getting that decoupage effect. Alright, so next, once, now that we have the egg completely covered with the, uh, the eye design, we're going to take Deco Gel, which is a decorating gelatin that we've melted in the microwave for a few seconds, about 20 seconds. Now it's in a liquid form. Now what I'm going to do is just pour this directly over the egg. I've put this on a little cap. You can put it on a wire rack as well. Anything to take up minimum space. Now you see I'm using a lot of Deco Gel, and that's okay. So I'm not going to waste any of it. Just going to make sure it's a good pour, getting all sides. And then I'm going to go ahead and let it sit. Now, with the deco gel that's pouring in the bottom of the plate, um, once this solidifies, I'm going to peel it up and put it back in the container and just reuse it. All right. Now, after about 20 minutes, the egg is just about ready. You're going to see there's a bottom part that we weren't able to get. So that's all I'm going to do is put this over and just pour this on the part that we didn't get. If you're using a wire rack, chances are you won't have to worry about this. I'm just going to pour it over again. Looks good. And now we wait about 20 minutes. Alright, so okay. then you just peel it off of here and then you have your beautiful egg. Now remember when I told you that you could use this deco gel again? So you just peel it up. Got some image that came off there, so I'm just gonna take that off. in and it's ready for use again. So to make these beautiful deco gel eggs it's very simple. You, you can also make these with the pre-colored wafer sheets that are flavored as well. 